Welcome to the third module in our unit on reading and annotating content in Zotero. In the last module, I showed you some strategies for using notes effectively in Zotero. In this module, I'm going to talk about Zotero's reports, which you can use to create great summaries of Zotero items. Why would you want to create reports? There are four reasons that I like to use them, but I'm sure other reasons exist. My reasons are to summarize information about an item, including my own notes in one easy-to-read format, to review my work so far on paper and decide next steps as part of a literature review or a research project, for any projects where I need to create an annotated bibliography, even informally, for one or more items. Finally, I use them to deal with the mixed media problem. And what I mean by this is the inevitable issue you'll have when some of your work is on paper and some is electronic, and you need to see everything together. Generating a report in Zotero is easy. Simply select an item, right-click, and choose Generate Report from Item. I'm showing one item in this example, but you can also select multiple items at the same time and do the same thing, and then they'll all get combined into one report. Now, once you generate a report, you'll get a separate window with a formatted document for the item or items you selected, including all of the data fields for the item, including the date the item was added and last modified, any tags or related items associated with it, the contents of all of the notes attached to the item, a list of other attachments, such as PDF files, and any notes that may be included with those. If you use the article notes technique I covered in the previous module, you can see that this is a great way to create a single document that includes all of the information about an article and all of your own notes. When the report is open, you can save it as an HTML file, a web page, that you can later open in a web browser, but more likely you're going to want to print it or convert it into a PDF file. In both cases, you can do this from the print window. I can print the report from here, but if I want a PDF, I do something a little bit different. On Windows, you can choose Print as a PDF as a destination instead of your printer. Here on my Mac, I can use this PDF dropdown in the print window and choose Save as PDF. These reports are where the fruits of your work can start to pay off. Because if you made notes on an item that includes things like a summary or key findings, a Zotero report can become the basis of an annotated bibliography. I've used these reports to present my work to a research supervisor for feedback or to give me an easy way to review all the notes I made while doing reading for a project. Sometimes when I see things on paper, I can arrange things on my desk or on the floor, and then I start to see new connections or new questions. And of course, I can then capture those ideas by adding new tags, related items, or notes to my Zotero items. That's it. Zotero reports are a simple feature that can help pull all of your work together into one reference document. In the next module, we'll talk about how you can use Zotero to store your annotated and highlighted PDF files. See you there.